Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, a book review for you today, obviously on the um, Dan Buster Lancaster, as you can see here. Um, this is a beautiful book, 128 pages, 95% of which is um, CAD drawings, CAD pictures, images, whatever you want to call them. It's by Petra Forkashevich and Mark Postlethwaite, um, and it's available from wingleader.co.uk. It's recommended retail price is £30 and there's the ISBN number for it there. And we can see on the back there's some information, some proper real photographs of the bomb being dropped. So what's in this book? It's, as I say, it's 95% images of, uh, CAD images of the, uh, the Lancaster. And we can see here, this is the, the sort of thing you can expect through the whole book. Um, some may say... That's a disadvantage because obviously the accuracy is only as good as the person putting the details in the computer. But the available material for this aircraft is very, very limited. So these guys have done a sterling job on producing this book, in my opinion. So we start off here, we've got spec specification of the aircraft and we've got the, the real Lancaster stood here as a photograph. This is AJT, you can tell because it's got the belly gun. Um, and then going through, this is what we can expect. It's CAD images all the way through um, with, with photographs in the background or whatever. Um, so this is the sort of thing we can expect. So first chapter is all about the standard Lancaster. And here you can see Roy Chadwick meeting with the king, uh, the king and queen, it says. Um, so, and you can see here, this is probably a brand new aircraft because it's all very, very clean. Um, although the tires have some mud on them. And then we've got some lovely CAD images here of a, a paint strippered Dunbuster Lancaster. Um, top view, underside view. I'm not going to do every page. I'll go through all the different chapters and just skip a few pages out. But you, as you can see, the artwork in this book is just absolutely superb. It's beautiful. So this is all about the carrying mechanism. And you can see the frame, the spinning mechanism. And then we've got the... Um, the uh, the motors and everything down here, or the motor controls underneath the wireless operator's desk. Um, then we've got the, this is the ejection system here that allowed the bomb to be released. The the uh, the frames came out to make sure we had a frictionless drop. Um, interesting story in here about that, I'll tell you in a second. Um, and then we've got some beautiful images of the bomb bay with the, the covers removed. So you can see what would have been in here. Um, the only bit I do question is whether the back of these opening doors here, you can see there, they're closed off. I would have thought they would have been open. Um, I don't know. You see they're, they're closed off there. That, the, the rear one's closed off, but the front, at the back of the front one, they've, they've shown it as closed off. And you can see here how those doors opened to allow the um, lay to get to the hydraulic motor. And then delivering um, is all about... The, the the way the lights worked and you can see here the lights fitted to the actual aircraft how the light worked if it had a gun um, and then you've got the uh, what's this called the um, it was the close frame thing wasn't it the close hook thing they called that uh, tail gunner and then some information all about aerials and antennas communication and then we've got some lovely CAD images of the interior of the aircraft as you can see, all beautifully rendered. It's the bomb aimers area with no bomb aiming equipment. And I think there would have been bags up here and there were apparently stirrups as well because normally the, in the standard Lancaster, the bomb aimer would have been the front turret gunner. But in this aircraft, obviously you had an aimer working down here and guys sat at the front shooting hell out of the, um, the defense positions on the dam. So, they would have had stirrups for him to put his feet in as some way of catching the shells to stop them falling on the uh, on the aimer's back and distracting him. And then we've got the actual bomb itself and uh, showing you yeah, the firing mechanism. And then this is the one that had the wood around it that was eventually taken off because the wood just broke up every time it hit the water. We've got the colour schemes here, all the sizes of all the wrangles and the markings and everything. All very, very beautiful. Individual aircraft history. Now this is lovely, this section. Each of the aircraft used are all in here. And there's some lovely pictures of the crews. Um, different information about their sorties. 
as you can see this is T there without the gun there with the gun so obviously at some point it, the gun was removed then we've got unfortunately some pictures here of the crashed aircraft the ones that didn't make it back and then here's um, AJJ which ended up sat outside Scampton as you can see you've got all of the aircraft here all covered and they've all got this G suffix on them to show they were secret you can see there's pages and pages and pages of this all going on and more crash damage and then more real photographs crews as you can see it just goes on and on beautiful footage crews and then we got some here we've got some black and white this is how the model was made the CAD model and you can see here it is uncolored um, and then here I haven't noticed this before this is the locations that feature in the uh, in the history of them so I'm assuming this is where some of them crashed yep the red diamonds are the crash sites um, such a shame that so many of them didn't make it back and uh, so there we go and then there's the acknowledgments not acknowledge, acknowledgments in the back sorry so yeah beautiful book um, well worth 30 pounds probably one of those books that will have a short production run and then if after a while everybody will want it and it'll go up to like 300 quid or something stupid and then they'll do another reprint and it'll be 30 pounds again <laughs> so um much like the uh, king tiger book by um david parkins so um there you are that's the Dambuster lancaster book as i say 30 pounds i'll show you again there's the isbn number if you want to get yourself a copy look it up it's 30 pounds well spent thanks for watching and bye bye